Steve Kramer from Revolution Aerial. I'm here to do a quick thing on zip ties. Best use for these is to throw them out, not used anymore. I want to show you a new product. It's called string tie or lacing tape, depending on where you, where you come from. This stuff is totally way better. It's lighter, it's stronger, and it looks a whole lot better. Here's a quick view of my new Hornet, and the way I attach all these components here is with this string tie. All these little holes that we made, zip ties don't fit very well. String tie goes perfectly through them. And so I have a piece here to hold on the uh, video transmitter. All the wires get held in real neatly. The uh, plug gets hold, held on here per, quite nicely with a little bit of string tie. And also the ESCs get held on the wings. If you look at it, it almost looks like just like striping. It doesn't have that big knot that the uh, zip tie leaves. I basically just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to tie a string tie. It's, uh, there's actually two methods. One is, um, here, I'll show you the first one. What we'll take is take about a foot of this string, cut it off with your dikes. I'll tell you about where to get it later. Take the ends, put them together, put your two fingers, and flip it over like that. So you can see what that makes. It's a quick, uh, quick loop. What the objective is, is to put it around your piece. This is here just for demonstration purposes. Put it around your piece, feed the two ends through that loop you just made. I didn't do that all that perfectly, but there you go. See how it pulls there? And then you pretty much tighten that hitch on the other two running strings, like that. This, this uh, lacing tape is actually coated with a little bit of wax, so it will actually stick to itself if pressed properly together, so that it keeps the knots from untying. So what you do is you do like that, pull the two strings apart to tighten it, put a single overhand knot, like that, and if you really want to get crazy about it, you can put another overhand knot on top of it. Real super simple. Cut it off with a pair of dice, and there you have it. All right, the second method leaves a little bit smaller uh, end on it, leaves a little bit less of a knot. It's a little bit more complicated to tie. Around, over itself, and then back through. underneath like that. So in a, in a pulled out form you can see how how the routing goes. So there's the two ends go opposite each other and that centerpiece goes over itself. When you hold these up that centerpiece crosses. See like right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these tight, pull it tight to begin with, and now just like this the wax that's in the string you can see that it kind of holds the knot together. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie an overhand knot like that, and another one on top of it, like that. Trim off the two ends. So if you hold these two pieces together, you can see that the knot on this one is a little bit lower profile than this one, a little bit smaller. This one's a little bit easier and faster to tie. This one's a little, little bit more tricky, but it leaves a little bit better, um, smaller knot on it. Here's a product, this is Braden Lacing Tape. This is a 500 yard roll. It's available online at aircraftspruce.com. This, this roll will probably build probably 20 plus drones or aircraft and um, it's only about $22 for a roll. So it's pretty inexpensive. It's almost cheaper to use than uh, zip ties. This is Steve Kramer from Revolution Aerial. You can check out our website at revaerial.com. Thanks for watching.